Hello. Welcome to our Wednesday meditation. Um, this is our first one after the High Holy Days. I hope you all had a, a peaceful, meditatively filled uh, High Holy Days where you were able to reflect. And I hope that the work we did in the week leading up to it helped prepare you for, uh, for what we had to do during that time. Um, yesterday I took off. It is the traditional rabbi's day off after Yom Kippur. And um, so I, I took that. So sorry I wasn't here yesterday. And, and I, I do have some regrets about it because I don't know if you saw in, on YouTube the picture of yesterday's meditation is me like this. <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's that's the snapshot they have to show the meditation. It's like, ooh, that's inviting. Someone yawning. I don't know why it always gets to me. I always yawn during this this section. That might be you're supposed to. It releases my my nervous crazy energy. Right. Um, <laughs> today uh, today's been a Zoom filled day. I literally was on a Zoom call from nine this morning till about four o'clock, and then had to go on to another one. And at one point, was on two or three at the same time. So it was a little crazy today, but uh, I'm looking forward to this time we have together. Uh, this week, we we stay in the holiday season. Sukkot comes up on Friday night and Saturday for a week, and. I've always found it fascinating that Sukkot comes right on the heels of Yom Kippur, just thematically, because it's easy to wrap your head around what's, what Yom Kippur is about. It's a reflection on our, ourselves. You know, there's something semi-selfish about it, right? We are just thinking about us. and um, Yes, we think about the people that we've hurt, but really it's a self-reflection on who we've been over the year and um, and what whether we've lived up to who we're supposed to be and then we move into Sukkot which kind of opens up the world beyond us it is the ultimate holiday of gratitude being grateful for the food we have on our table being grateful for the roof we have over our heads, being grateful for the family that we can share our meals with. And there is this sense that we come out of Yom Kippur, which is all about us and all about human beings, and we're the center of the universe, and what we do matters. And then we leave our home behind, we go outside, we um, live without any of the creature comforts we're used to, Although I know a lot of people bring their TV into their Sukkot. But, you know, the idea is that you, you meld with nature. And um, that is represented especially in the Lulav and Etrog, which uh, are what are called the four species. Um, that uh, there's a lulav and a willow and palm, and then you have the etrog, which is citrus. And it has been actually proven that all plant life falls under those four categories. One of them is fruit-bearing trees, one is trees near water, one is trees in an arid environment, and one is trees in more like a deciduous environment. And all plant life falls under those four categories, which, and when we take that lulav and etrog and we, we wave it all around, it's the idea that nature is all around us, it surrounds us, it is a part of us, and we live with that nature, which then gets us to think about huh, humility because nature is so powerful and we're just partners in it and the world is a huge place and we take up just this little amount of space that we take up. And if we look at our lives um, in the scheme of all of nature, you can't help but say, I'm so grateful. I'm grateful to be a part of this nature. I'm grateful for the life and breath that's inside of me. And if we go from Yom Kippur as, oh my God, I'm afraid of dying, and I need to understand the way I've acted in the world, to look at this world we exist in 
and in what way do we connect with the world? And I, I just think it's a beautiful progress from us to everything. And um, we'll get to this probably tomorrow. Um, the idea that um, Hechag, which is what Sukkot is called in Jewish literature, the holiday, is we are commanded to be joyous. We'll do that tomorrow. We're commanded to be happy. How can you command someone to be happy? We'll deal with that tomorrow. For today, I would love for us to think about those moments in our lives when we felt so connected to nature, when we felt that gratitude of, of being a part of nature, living within nature, taking advantage of nature, um, how we feel when we're in nature or when we're working with it. What is your relationship to the world around you? How do you relate to the world? Do you relate to the world? Do you ever go into the world? Um, or are you mostly in um, human-made structures and uh, time? And um, I think this is what we need to kind of turn ourselves to do now, is think about where we are in the world. What's our relationship to the world? How can we show and be grateful for every thing that's around us, especially trees, which give us the ability to breathe, and that we need to protect it and be a part of it. And so Sukkot, when you go outside and sit in your sukkah and you're outside for your meals and many people sleep in their sukkah, um, that it provides an opportunity to just be at one with nature a little bit, get away from our phones, get away from our TV. You know, it was interesting because of the way we did Yom Kippur this year. My phone was in my office the whole day. I didn't check it. I didn't look at it. And I felt free. And I think that's part of what we need to practice when we go into our sukkah. Don't bring your phone with you. Don't bring it in. Keep yourself away from kind of the human-made objects and just try to exist. If you don't have a sukkah, you can just sit outside somewhere and just take in the nature, take in the air. Um, I think it's ironic I'm saying this. I've been doing everything outside, and today I'm back in this room. But that's only because it's my wife's birthday, and, and she's outside and making that look very nice uh, so she could have a nice dinner there. So that's why I'm right, right, relegated to being to being indoors today. But I like this spot. This is the spot where I've been doing it for the first several months. Um, so let's get ourselves into a nice, comfortable position. Just going to remind everybody, since we really haven't uh, been here for six days, we're just breathing. We're not trying to push our breath. We're not trying to do any specific breaths. Of course you know, yawning, um, but um, just allow yourself to be just as you are for now. Allow everything to happen just as it is. And um, we'll come back and uh, ask for um, that we feel luminous and loved. I believe that was also the last time we got together, last Wednesday. So um, let's get ourselves ready, get into a position where you're uh, relaxed and strong same time and um, here we go gratitude so all we're doing is concentrating on our breath <laughs> we're just noticing how the breath fills us, what it does to our stomach, how the air feels coming in, is it cold, is it warm, how does it feel going out? Just notice your breath.
for sure your thoughts are going to take you away from your breath. It's very natural. Just notice what you're thinking about. Bring yourself back to your breath. In love.
I invite all of us to just take a couple last breaths, concentrating there. And we'll move to asking for certain feelings. Today we ask, may I feel luminous? May I feel loved? May I feel light shining or that I'm a beacon that my body, I don't know, glimmers. There's a light that emanates from me, from you. It's luminous, knowledgeable, luminous, clean-eyed, direct, shining. And may I feel love. May I feel that there is someone, people that love me, that love you. Even if it's your dog, it's not a person, but there's love there, or your cat, not the fish. May I feel luminous. May I feel loved. May I feel loved. May I feel luminous. May I feel luminous and loved. Just keep saying that to yourself over and over with each breath. May I feel luminous. May I feel loved. If you'd like to invite someone to be with you in your mind's eye, someone you love, someone you don't know so well but they just popped into your head, someone who you have difficulties with, you could choose any, any person like that, anyone you'd like to be in front of you and you offer it to them. May you feel luminous. May you feel loved. May you feel luminous and loved. May you feel luminous and loved. like to bring it back to you. May I feel luminous. May I feel loved. May I feel luminous and loved. Really ask for the feeling. Ask that you feel that way. We'll just stay there a couple of breaths. And then for the last minute or so we have, I invite you to bring yourself back to your breath, the core of your body. Feel the breaths come in and out. Your stomach expand and contract. Let's just take one minute, 
or so to just finish on our breathing. Hope you find the space or found the space to have gratitude for nature and our place in it. It's something that you can explore in the next week. And um, hope you found stillness and peace today. May you feel luminous. May you feel loved. And have a beautiful evening. <laughs>